to be honest, I'm really young kid, still figuring out who I am and how I fit in life. So I cannot tell you too much about me yet. What I do know are some of the elements that have shaped me today, humor, sports, and the color of my skin. These three are important to me because without them, there is no Cyrus Turks. Without them, there is no man writing this essay today. Humor is one of the elements that have significantly shaped the person I am today. Ever since I was little, comedy has been something my parents exposed me to. Humor has made me more confident in myself, more positive life, and more able to smile and overall just happier. Making jokes about certain flaws I felt I had to my peers made me more comfortable in my own skin. This enabled me to grow up with a thick skin when it came to any type of adversity or conflicts that I faced with others. I learned that if I could accept who I am, be vulnerable and make fun of myself, nothing anybody said to me would have any effect on me. With my humor, I was always able to make others and myself laugh at any time. Not until I won Funniest Guy at PYS my eighth grade year did I realize my humor made me a better friend and made people I never really talked to like me. The day I won that category, I remember feeling elated and confused at the same time. I always thought I was funny along with my friends, but for most of the school to agree, that was really shocking for me. People came up to me saying congrats and that I deserved it. And I asked them, what do you mean I deserve it? They all told me sometimes when some of us feel upset or not feeling good, we try to talk to you and hear what you're talking about because we know you're gonna make some jokes and make us feel better. After that, I became more aware and compassionate toward others and how they feel. Humor has also taught me self-control in a way as well. I learned over that time that not everyone has the same sense of humor I have and not everyone needs to hear what I am thinking or what's on my mind. My mouth used to, and sometimes still gets me in a bit of trouble to say the least. Self-control is something I work on every day and something I'll acknowledge and with, whom, with humor, I could not grow into these traits I value today. Sports is another tool that I have been fortunate to experience in my life. All three of my parents and were and, and are still very heavily involved in sports. So it was a no-brainer I would eventually become like them in that aspect. One way sports have shaped my life is, develop me, is by developing me in my first ever passion. As soon as I started playing tennis, baseball, football, soccer, and basketball, I knew sports were going to be a big part of my future. Having the impact of sports um, on me uh, made me truly care about my future in general, and not just as it relates to school, school, but also in that sport as well. I realized that I could attend college somewhere while pursuing my career in sports. Passion in my life controls almost everything I do. at least in my experience, where there's passion, there's competitiveness. And this is another thing I, that sports has taught me. I've noticed so far in my life, people really don't seem to realize the importance of competitiveness. Being involved in sports, I just didn't want to go out there and have fun. I wanted to be the best out there and win every time. My parents were also the type who wouldn't just waste their money, time and efforts for me to have fun. They also wanted me to excel and thrive as well. Even though I got mad at them sometimes for pushing me, looking back on the situation is the one thing I'm most grateful for because of how involved my parents were with me in sports and how invested they were, I have learned the importance of worth ethic, maybe one of the most vital characteristics a person can have. However, a strong worth ethic didn't click in my head until I got to RHB. The coaches I've had here have been the most influential in my life. And in such a small amount of time, they have pushed me and motivated me not to be just the best player, but the best person I can be. My worth ethic became everything for me. In order to be the best in the classroom, the soccer field, when I was, in, when I was younger, in the music class, and on the basketball court, I needed to work hard every day and perfect my craft because being the best doesn't come easy. No matter what I do, I want to be the best at it, and this all came from sports. The most significant element that I have dealt with my whole life is my skin color. Before I'm anything else in this world, I am a black African man in America. When I walk down the street, nobody knows I'm funny. Nobody knows I like sports, but they do know what my skin color is. My race has had countless impacts on my life, um, positively and negatively. The first thing I learned regarding race was being aware of my surroundings. America has come a long way, but not that far because still to this day, 
I know I must act a certain way around people just based on my skin color. I know to not take jogs around my neighborhood with my hood on, take off my hat when I enter a store, leave my bag outside if I have one before I enter a store, speak differently around other ethnicities, be overly respectful and polite in certain areas, and not to go out late with my friends and others. These rules are, these are rules I follow just because of my skin color. I also learned that there are people who hate me and want to harm me because of my race. This is something I will never understand, but as crazy as it sounds, I've come to terms with it. Mostly because if people are that ignorant in life, they are the ones missing out. I have enough friends of people who are in this world that love me. So it will never bother me if people don't like me based on my race. I have learned to embrace people's ignorance and hate and feel that as motivation every day, just like many others have. My race made me proud of who I am. Humor made me more confident about myself. Sports made me work harder. My skin makes me proud to be a successful black man in America and not just in athletics, but academically. My skin color motivates me to get up every morning with the intention to prove to the people who I believe I cannot exceed that I will. I will achieve because of my blackness and not despite it. I will prove them wrong and surpass their expectations of me. And this is, and this is what I will say it again. I am a black man before I'm anything else and I'm proud of that. I taped this quote from Stephanie Lehart to my wall in front of my bed and I, every time I wake up, I read it three times in my head and twice aloud and I start my day. Dear young black males, encourage yourself, believe in yourself and love yourself. Never doubt who you are. Always believe in yourself and even if nobody else does, strive to be self-motivated. I share this quote with you all today not only because of how significant it is for me, but how useful it can be used by everyone in this Zoom here today. Obviously, this quote is directed toward Black males like myself, but the base of the quote can be used by anyone to help motivate yourself. Everyone should believe, motivate, encourage, and love themselves, and always remember these words. Then apply them to your everyday life to the best of your abilities. Humor, sports, and my skin color have all shaped me to be happy, loving, confident, positive, passionate, competitive, hardworking, motivated, and a proud young man. These elements will make me successful in whatever I choose to become in the future. Thank you. Um, shout outs. Um, shout outs to all the teacher and staff members here at RHP who have helped me with my journey um, here. Thank you for making my transition here as smooth and as comfortable as possible. More specifically, thanks Ms. Rudolph, Mr. and Mrs. Hagee, Mr. Marr, Mr. Flumini, and of course, Mr. Holloway. As my teacher and advisor, you have helped me immensely with all my problems in school and out, and I really appreciate everything you have done for me. Shout out to the boys basketball team. You guys are really all like brothers to me. I couldn't ask for a better group of teammates over the past year and a half. I have spent so much time with you, with you all, and had so many great experiences with you guys. It is really like having a second family. I hope you are fortunate enough to have a season this year and play this game that we all love so much. Because as most of you know, we have some unfinished business from last year to take care of. Shout out Coach Corey, Coach Manasha, and Coach Negan for helping me so much since the day I arrived at RHP and met all of you. Thank you for always checking in on me and making sure I was doing well in the classroom along with on the court as well. The amount of work all three of you put in time and time again, and not just help me, um, but the entire team to succeed to the best of our abilities. I'll always be appreciative and thank you for everything you've done. Shout out to Coach Katani for truly helping me become not just the player I am today, but the person. I have never had anyone so tough and straightforward with me besides my mom. And I can say I've never been so fortunate in my life to have you in it, not just as a coach, but as a mentor as well. You have helped me make it clear what matters most in the world, not just for me, but for others as well. You care so much about us succeeding, not just on the court, but in the classroom and life. I've, had, I've only had the privilege to know you for a short time, but I learned so many significant lessons that I will always value and work on. I might not always show it and you might not know, but I will forever be grateful for everything you have done for me. Shout out my everything in life, my family, but most importantly, my parents. 
it might be cliche to say, but I would, I mean, I wouldn't be here today without you. And most importantly, the person that you have raised today. I know I'm not the easiest kid to deal with to say the least, but I am so fortunate and grateful to have you as my parents that I truly love so much. So thank you, thank you, and thank you for everything you have done. Lastly, shout out to everyone who has assisted me in my life. And I mean everyone. I couldn't individually shout out all of you because I would be here for a couple of days just thinking it off the top of my head. But your love and support will never go unnoticed. So to all that has helped me to get here where I am today, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for listening.